Well, in fact, I didn't think I had to worry about anything because I thought she was safe. She was in a church group. This is a story about a girl called Jane, who was 13 years old when she joined a Presbyterian youth group in Auckland. It feels really nice to be in a place of belonging and acceptance and no judgment at first. By the age of 14, Jane was in a secret sexual relationship with a youth group leader, a man in his mid-twenties. He didn't even have to tell me to keep it secret. Like, ob- it was obvious that it had to be secret. How did you know? Because he was 11 years older than me and he was my youth group leader. <laughs> that much I knew. But I was falling in love with him. All of this happened 30 years ago, but the effects are still playing out today. Yeah, I feel like I'm rotten. I feel like I'm... that it happened to me because I deserved it, because there's some part of me that's rotten. Three decades on, Jane is ready to revisit the biggest secret of her life and speak to the people who were there at the time. Every couple of years, I'll stay up all night sometimes. It's just a manic obsession to just try and find every skerrick of him on the internet to see if he is um, active in his group again. It's a story about lost innocence and a betrayal of trust. That was all unbeknownst to anyone else and certainly a secret from the other leaders at the camp that he had her in that room. This is one survivor's story of reckoning with the past, whatever the cost. This is really intense. (laughs) It's going to be so full on, eh? (laughs) Dear Jane, brought to you by the Spin-Off Podcast Network with the support of New Zealand On Air. Out Monday, wherever you get your podcasts.